Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Today we are going to go manga shopping at Barnes & Noble, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay everyone, so here is the table of volume ones. You guys know the drill. This is a table full of volume ones of a whole bunch of different genres and I'm in love. These are by different publishers. They always have some classics and some more of the newer releases. This Ghost Reaper Girl, one of you guys has been recommending this manga to me. It looks really interesting. I really love kind of the goth kind of Lolita vibe I got from the cover. Let me know if it's good and if it's worth picking up. I saw 10 Dance. You guys know I always have to look at 10 Dance. I don't know if I should get it or not. I do not have a dancing manga besides wand dance and it always piques my curiosity every single time I go to Barnes and Nobles or just to a bookstore. I saw the Abandoned Empress. It's hard to believe volume two is already out. I feel like I said this before, but it's just these days the manhwa publishing is so fast. I'm really excited for so many more manhwa to get published. I saw Ajin. I really, really want to start this series, um, but like is it really good? Like, how good is it? Someone please let me know. I watched the anime and I really enjoyed it. It was CGI, but the story was so good. So that's why I want to know if I should, if it's worth getting the manga. Um, I saw some Animal Crossing manga, which was very much unexpected. They just had so many different volumes of manga. What really surprised me was the Anonymous Noise manga. I did watch the anime for this quite a while ago. Um, I also saw this Aoharu Machine Gun and another fantastic series. If you guys kind of love Oron High School Host Club with like Airsoft, that's what the series is. There's a wonderful anime corresponding with it. Highly recommend. There's also the Apothecary Diaries. My friend's been recommending it to me. I know I really need to get around to it. We have Attack on Titan, Berserk, Assassination Classroom, Assassin's Creed, and then the mother load of Attack on Titan so much. This series really caught my eye. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because I am going to absolutely butcher it, but the art looked literally stunning. Like, is it good? Please let me know. What is it about? This is me uh, trying to read it, but I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna flip through the manga. Spoilers, I don't know if I've not read it clearly as I don't know what it's about, um, but it was just such beautiful artwork. like. I just had to stop and look at it. There is Banana Fish, Bake Monogatari, um, some Battle Angel Alita. There's also Beastars, a whole bunch of Beastars. At the top here, we have more Berserk of the Deluxe Editions. Once again, more Beastars. Um, yeah, there's this series which caught my eye. Such pretty artwork. Don't know what it's about though. Yeah, can you guys see a trend here? <laughs> Um, here are the Berserk singles and the Black Butler singles. You guys um, in my, one of my videos were recommending Black Butler so much. My grandpa picked up volume one. Yes, my grandfather is reading Black Butler. How amazing is that? So, I mean, I definitely have to check it out soon. You know, I mean, you guys convinced my grandfather to get volume one. So he is starting his manga collection and he's on the way to expanding it. I had to circle back for those Apothecary Diaries. I just like literally had to. Before we continue shopping, a word from today's sponsor. When I got home, I saw these amazing packages sent to me by the wonderful people at FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot is a company that sells standing desks. If you guys do not know what these standing desks are, they are basically electronic desks that can move up and down from a sitting position to a standing position. They also sent me this really nice hammock to go along with it that clips on underneath the desk that can kind of serve as like an under desk resting spot. I am very excited about this as I have never heard of something so unique. As you guys can tell, it is so smooth going up and going down. The hammock supports my weight perfectly. I'm around 130, 120. Um, and it is a perfect manga reading nook. Here is with here is the desk with some items on top of it. It is so smooth and like I just love it so much. It is so great for me doing my schoolwork and like packing my Mercari orders and crafting. I just love it so much. 10 out of 10 recommends. 
one. Here is the Chainsaw Man section. Wonderful. I'm so excited for part two. We also have Cheeky Brat, another Chef's Kiss, beautiful, stunning, amazing series. Y'all, if you guys have not read it, read it, what are you doing? Go do that. Like, please, I beg of you, volume four just came out. Like, go get it. Namaki Sakari is so good. I am so happy that it's finally getting published in English. I have a whole bunch of merchandise ordered. Like, I, I mean, a whole bunch, like a whole entire giant lot. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep going on and on about this. I just cannot get over how much I love Namaki Sakari. But there is also some... Dekoboko, you know, classmates. We got that demon love spell. Don't know what it's about. The art looked really pretty though. You know, we got that demon slayer. We got the devil part-timer series. No idea what that's about. I hear it's good though. Devil's line. Love, 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 love the anime. Loved it so much. I, should I get the manga? Is it like, is it better than the anime? Like, please. Is the art style good? This series caught my eye because of its very unique cover art. I also saw a whole bunch of Dragon Ball manga. I know when you guys said you guys were looking for the Dragon Ball manga. So I don't know if it's rare or not. I don't, I don't, yeah. Dr. Stone, you guys know how much I love Dr. Stone. Um, yeah, there's just so many interesting series. And as time goes on, more and more kind of unheard of series for me, at least less mainstream series are getting published, which is, which is always amazing. And that's why it's just crazy. This selection is just always growing in my Barnes and Nobles, as you guys can tell by my previous videos. We have some Fire Force and some Fire Punch manga. These Fire Force covers are getting better and better. Here down here, down here we have some Food Wars manga. Um, yeah, as you guys know, I started Food Wars recently and I am moi, love it. It's so good. I love cooking anime, okay? I love cooking anime, I love cooking manga, anything that re revolves around cooking, I love it even though I hate to cook. Um, we have the girl from the other side, Omnibus. This really caught my eye. It is a really nice addition. Um, it's personally not a series that interests me, but that was just so beautiful. I had to stop and gawk at it. Here we have a uh, golden Japanesque and some Oyasumi Poon Poon. Great series once I've been hearing again. We have some haiku here we're moving on to kind of more of the h section you guys know heaven's design team hell's paradise i love that series such a great dark seinen series like literally go read it if you love like action like a dark grittier demon slayer like that's what you should be watching or reading is hell's paradise it's gonna be an anime soon i am so 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 excited Whew, yeah um, we have some more VL, like I Cannot Reach You, I think is what it's called. Um, I Hear the Sunspot. Y'all have been recommending that one to me. I need to check it out soon. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it from my mutuals and whatnot. Then there's Inuyasha and a whole bunch of uh, Inuyashiki and Junji Ito's work. As you guys know, they have a whole bunch of Junji Ito works here. It's beautiful. I'm not a big horror manga connoisseur like some people, but I can appreciate good artwork when I see good artwork. Um, here is the wonderful JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I mean, like, need I say more? The infamous JoJo Bizarre Adventure. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so good, so good. Highly recommend. We got Kaguya-sama and Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, the other day, like, I don't even know what volumes I have anymore. Like, in this store, I have questioned my collection and if I had a certain volume, like, literally 10 times. Like, <laughs> I need to keep track better. But then there's Kakegurui, Kamisama Kiss, um, and The King's Beast. I have been seeing a lot of this series. Uh, I remember when volume one came out and it looks really pretty. The artwork is gorgeous. Once again, I have no idea what's at, what it is about. I can barely talk. As you guys can tell, I am so tongue-tied. But I also saw Komi Can't Communicate. I can't believe volume 20, I think is what they're on now. It's crazy how fast that series goes. I tried it, it wasn't really for me. I also saw Land of the Lustrious, one of my friends' favorite series. They also had some Legend of Zelda manga. This series, Let's Go Karaoke, it is a new series. I do not know what it's about. There's also Let's Play, the webtoon. I had no idea this got a manga much less the fact that they were already on volume two. Like, I feel like that just went under like everybody's radar. Like I read the webtoon ages ago, like literally so long ago, but I really remember what it's about. So yeah, I also saw Mashal. You guys have been recommending this one to me. I did read some of the scans online and it is such a good series. Mob Psycho, you guys know I love my Mob Psycho. I really want, I really, really should get the manga. It's just for some reason I'm hesitant because the art then there's also Moon and Sun, 
beautiful series. The artwork is so, so good. I have not even read it yet, but the artwork is so beautiful. <laughs> um, then there is My Dress Up Darling and My Hero Academia. So much My Hero. If you guys love My Hero, this is a place for you. They have like all the My Hero Vigilantes, all the spinoffs. They didn't have... Um, this is me looking for a volume of uh, this villainess manga that uh, all that's lead to doom that literally does not even come out yet like what i was looking for non-existent volumes you know i literally am so bad at keeping track of things these days but i saw no game no life i literally had no idea that that there was a manga that really surprised me of course gotta look at noragami the spines are always so beautiful so beautiful there's also a whole bunch of one piece uh, their One Piece collection is growing more and more as I see it, so it's really good for those beginner collectors. I would start One Piece, but I mean, like, it's a hundred volumes so far, and my collection cannot handle that! There's also Orient and uh, Our Dining Table. I have Our Dining Table. It's so cute. Highly recommend if you want some wholesome BL fluff. I also saw Our Dreams at Dusk. I have been hearing so many, like, high praises for this series. Like, is, like... And it's four volumes, right? And I'm really tempted now, okay? I'm really, really tempted. I saw the quintessential quintuplets. Spines are always so pretty. No idea what it's about. I'm assuming it's about quintuplets. But well, besides that, I have no idea what it's about. It looks pretty though. Um, then moving on, we have Rev Revolutionary Girl Utena, I think is how you pronounce it. I literally have noted that it's about, I believe it's a GL? Yeah? We have the Rose of Versailles. Once again, have not read it. We have rooster fighter what is this someone please let me know like i did not even know this came out but like it's a rooster fighter like <laughs> i think the title says it all but at the same time i am very confused then there's a whole bunch of sailor moon manga and saint young men manga as well i really need to read them same with sakamoto days i so need to read sakamoto days i've been hearing like literally people saying it's like the best series ever so i definitely need to get around to reading that um i saw my book cafe in another world i have volumes two and three i'm looking for volume one sadly they did not have it eh. but moving on there's the shaman king omnibuses i cannot believe there's already so many of those out and then there is the a silent voice collector's edition which is literally giant um it says it's volume one i find it odd there's gonna be multiple volumes but i mean it's a seven volume series i didn't really think it needed it but to each their own, you know? I guess some people like the collector's edition and some people for um, paperbacks, so I get that, I understand. There is this series and the artwork looks so pretty. Like, oh my goodness. There's also a whole bunch of sweat and soap. And moving on, there's a whole bunch of Take and Hana. I started that series like literally like first page, but then I dropped it because I don't really like age gaps that big. So yeah, I mean like, it's not really my cup of tea. So yeah, uh, moving on, we have this series which caught my eye. The art looked interesting. Yeah, the spine is what caught my eye because it was a little bit of a rainbow and I was like, it's so pretty. Um, we have Toilet Bound Hana Cocoon. Okay, what is this series about? I mean, I know it's about like roughly what it's about, but like I don't actually know the plot. And like, should I get the manga? Please let me know. I saw this series, which was so cool looking. Um, I believe it's done by the same mangaka that did Princess Jellyfish because it looks like the same mangaka. We have uh, Love Ryu, uh, Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Avengers, To Your Eternity, um, Twin Star Exorcists, Tsubasa. I mean, there's just so much these days, like so many different titles and different series. It's hard to keep track of everything. There's also Undead Unluck, another series that you guys have been recommending to me. Another series I have no idea what it's about. Like, I believe it's an action series based on just the cover and the fact that it's published in Shonen Jump. Um, but I actually don't even know the premise. So I will definitely have to look into that as you guys have been recommending it so highly to me. This is a really cute BL series I saw. I did not end up picking it up, but I was very tempted. Then I saw Vagabond and this series really caught my eye. I think this is like a new vampire GL based on the looks of it. Like that's, I have no idea what it's about. Like I said, this is all me just guessing off the cover. And after that, uh, as you guys can tell, I went home.
and I just got back from shopping at Barnes & Noble, as you guys can tell, so let's get into the haul. Starting off, I will be starting off with the volume I did not get at Barnes & Noble, but for my grandfather, as you guys know, my grandpa is just the best, especially when it comes to manga, you know? He watches his anime, he reads his manga recently, uh, he just purchased volume one of Black Butler, so he is very excited about that. Um, yeah, as you guys know, he's also a JoJo's fan. Yeah, but he got me volume 19 of Haikyuu since this was one that I have been looking for for months. As you guys know, I picked this one up because I had it ordered um, earlier this month. And I will say thank you everybody who has been commenting and letting me know that it was back in stock. Like, I appreciate that so much. So I'm going to be re replacing the one I got from Amazon with this one. But yeah, so I'm very excited with this in my collection, I now have three volumes of volume 19. I have one in Japanese and two in English, but you know, I'm gonna keep them all since to me, that is just really representing the struggle it was to just get one of these suckers, you know? So yeah, I'm just so excited because Haikyuu is finally complete. Okay, now getting into the volumes that I actually got from Barnes & Nobles. Starting off, I picked up things. Um, this says it's volume one. I don't know if this is ever going to be a volume two or if there is a volume two. Um, I just got this purely because the artwork, I got this purely because the artwork looked really good. Um, it just instantly drew me to it. Um, yeah, I really don't know what it's about. I think it's about werewolves because their ears are really pointy. Vampires maybe? I, I don't know, but it looks cool. It's probably about vampires since it says fangs. I don't know why that took me a second there and there's like blood on the back. Um, but yeah, I am excited to get into this and it looks really good. Okay, then the last two volumes I got and today, uh, the last two volumes I got today were the Apothecary Diaries volumes one and two. Um, I read these online and my friend convinced me to pick them up so you know I had to. Uh, yeah, I'm just very excited to get into these. The, it just, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful, the artwork. I did read these online, and of course I had to pick them up. This is my first ever manga done by SC Manga, so I am very excited to get into these and check out the quality of them. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!